My name's Sarah Watt and this is my new room. It's only, it's less than a year old and it's something I've wanted for my whole life. <laughs> so I, I designed it myself and planned it so that it's got all the right light that I want for drawing. It's got a nice place to write. It's at home. I used to have a garage, then the garage fell down and so I moved inside and I had to share the room with kids and computers and stuff. So this is actually my first room of my own. I find light quite important. I think it's important even for my mood. I, mean, I really like it here because even, I mean, to most people it looks out on the backyard, which is a complete mess, but I see what it's going to be in the future <laughs> when my trees have grown and my garden's finished. And, but I love being able to see the weather come in. And so it's, it's not just about the light, it's about seeing out and not feeling like I'm cloistered in some dark, dark hole. My sister actually the other day said, I don't know why they call it writing, they should just call it eating <laughs> because that's what you do when you're writing. You know, I give myself, I think, oh, I'll just write for half an hour and then I'll have some toast or I just, I'll make myself a pot of tea and then I'll have some chocolate. And, yeah, so it's kind of carrot and stick behaviour with food and the computer for me. This is just the general clutter that kind of starts building behind my computer and it ends up with sort of notes. But a lot of it's just inspiration or, or just family pictures and stuff. But mo mostly um, I just find I need pictures to, to push even the written word. I've had that picture of my dad and, and it's my son when he was a baby up for a long time just because it... Uh, you know, I had that up there when I was writing Look Both Ways and that had a bit to do with my dad and how I felt about him. So, you know, there, that. And that's a picture of me in San Sebastian, which I think, whoa, <laughs> I was there. And when I do storyboards, even for filmmaking, they're so, my writing's illegible and my pictures are illegible. I'm not a natural drawer. And, you know, because it's funny because people think, oh, she's an animator, she's going to have these fantastic, beautiful, neat, uh, storyboards and actually no they're just a huge mess unless I'm doing something that I think is going to be the finished product I often don't put a lot of effort in that's that lazy streak again painting and drawing I tend to use pretty much every kind of drawing medium inks crayons textures pencils just whatever I can find I'm not an oil paint on canvas person um and writing yeah I scribble a lot I don't think I wrote anything that was finished um, until computers came into my life. You know, I really think cut and paste made me a writer. This is our dog that we got from the Lost Dogs home, Klingon, and she is one of those dogs, I'm sure she must have been, you know, the only instinct she has is to like one of those royal dogs or something, and her job is to, you know, be annoying and right at my feet constantly. So she's got a little bed and she sort of sleeps all day while I work. This is um, oh, all the stuff that you kind of have to keep. Some of it's the old animation cells up there, a whole lot of uh, video cassettes and stuff of work I've done, um, some books that I can't fit in, masses of uh, photographs and files. You know, I, I really feel strongly that you need to edit your life as well or kind of, you know, curate it, I suppose. I suppose I tend to just pick up things and like that one of the girl looking over the cliff I've had since I was a child and, um, and that's my um, grandmother. So it's a bit undone but I actually think I do have such a keen sense or need for things to not clash that they often end up not looking awful, you know, because... <laughs> Well, in my eye. So everyone else thinks, oh, it's just a big mess. But to me, it's like, oh, no, it's just in progress and nothing's clashing. So it's, it's all right. <laughs>